Welcome to another Pest Sniper Northwest production. Warning, graphic pesting video. This video contains images of pests being shot with an air rifle. Do not watch if likely offended. Hello ladies and gents. This is a compilation of shots taken in the fall of 2019. I'm mostly targeting Eurasian collared doves and starlings, which are both an invasive species here in the US. All shots are taken using the FX Dreamline Pup 22, Discovery 4x16 first focal plane scope, and shooting JSB Hades at 30 foot pounds. Okay, so I'm starting this one off with some shots on crows. Even though they aren't an invasive species, they are a big nuisance on the farm, and without exception, every farmer wants them gone. I just don't get enough to justify a separate video. Here we start off with a nice 40 yard headshot. Here I'm standing still in the shadows, wearing camo, on a very bright day, and even though the sun isn't directly in the crow's eyes, they still can't see me. This allows me to get a very rare two consecutive kills. You can see the pellet pass through and deflect up and to the right of the vertical crosshairs. Here as I'm maneuvering around to prepare for the next shot, you can see the camera just capture the next target. And in under eight seconds later, it's done for. Stepping on to new permission, October 12, 2018. After shooting a few pigeons outside, which you had seen in another video, I go into the barn and run into these. So what I'm doing here is taking shots inside this barn and then pivoting and looking through a big opening in the wall and taking shots to an adjacent covered stall. By the way, all these shots until I step outside proper are taken at the low power setting of 15 FPE. Here you can see the pellet go through the bird and then go bouncing across the roof.
judging from this loud thwack, I must have shot a pigeon and then forgot to dial it back down to 15 FPE. And here's the follow-up from that last shot. Sixty yards is about two and a half mil dots for this setup. I see this behavior every fall where the starlings have gathered together in huge flocks. Now here, they're inside a. a barn that, uh, where they raised calves. Now I'd snuck up to within just a few yards of these. And it was just amazing because they are so wary. Usually they spot me, but maybe there's just so much going on here that they, they didn't catch me. And I very slowly eased my rifle into a shooting position. And then I had to look for a proper shooting lane. As you can see here, there's all these calves. So I had to find a spot or find a bird that uh, was safe to shoot. Standing in the same spot, but shooting across to an, an adjacent building. Sorry about the noise here, but that comes with the farm. And yes, I was purposely going for a double here. I wasn't just spraying and praying. back in the calf barn.
you gotta choose one.